senior pastor of Shekina Arena Gospel Church evangelist Dr. Gospel Agochuku has agreed with what his spiritual father, Apostle John Suleiman, stated about the Igbo a few days ago. It will be recorded that Apostle John Suleiman, General Vassar of the Omega Fire Ministries, recently disclosed during his service in his church that Nigerians should not trust the Igbos because they don't even support themselves. Reacting over Apostle John C. Suleiman's statement, Evangelist Agochuku asks, where is the lie in what his spiritual father said recently? Agochuku, who was reacting to punching, punch Nigeria.com post where Chris Ingige dragged Peter Obi of constructing a substandard rules in Anambra, according to the popular evangelist, the problem of Igbo not supporting themselves is common because he had a similar experience. So where is the lie in what Apostle John Susiliman said here? My greatest battle in ministry was from a son of mine who was from an Igbo extraction, even local government area. We hate, us. we hate ourselves, truth be told, the minister said. Where is the lie in what Apostle John Suleiman said? Hmm. Okay. I wish to advise our spiritual fathers to leave Igbos alone. Politicians from other ethnic groups already hate us. They say we would never smear the presidency. No problem. Allow us to continue to lick our wounds. It is, however, unfortunate for pastors who are supposed to be bridge builders to join in the race of castigating a particular ethnic group. Where are other serious issues to talk? There are other serious issues to talk about, such as the nefarious activities of bandits, terrorists, and ever menacing Fulani S-men. Anyway, in Nigeria, eating Igbos usually is a favorite pastime for everyone, including pastors. And tomorrow, some someone will say the church is not among destroying the nation it is well i am not even disturbed because they can't be fathers not to talk of being spiritual except if spirituality has to do with them sleeping with their members and house help <laughs> houses and yorubas who have been in power since 1960 what have they done for nigerians if not hunger banditry kidnapping hatred divisions inflation and so on apostle watch your ways god bless you Mm. Name them Bakari Johnson. More are coming. Igbo is the new issue. This uh, smacks of a cowardice. Bakari occupied Lagos and Nigeria at a time now he can't even raise a voice against injustice. He's confused. Do I support Tinumbu contest or the market Igbo? Good luck to you all. But one thing is sure you will reap what you sow. Nigeria is in a hopeless shape today because of hate for Igbo. Have you asked yourselves why the more you persecute Igbo, the more they prosper? Be wise. Leave them alone so it shall be well with you and all your efforts and all yours. Though what the man of God uh, are saying, men of God are saying is the truth. Anambra people is a boy. I don't understand. Who are the people that love themselves? Even, even in this whole country, I don't even understand. This one hates this one. Is it uh, the houses that love themselves? They love themselves to the essence, to the detriment of their own, own selves. They love themselves and see the poverty. If they really love themselves, they will not even subject their people to the kind of uh, ignorance and illiteracy they are encountering today or they are enjoying, whether they are, they are experiencing today. See the banditry. Is that love? They cooperate, they support themselves with evil and see the results. Just like some people will tell you that their uh, egos are prospering and you cannot even... You can't even, you can't debunk that. You can see that they are prospering. But those of them that say they are supporting themselves, see their lives, see the lives of their people. See the lives of their people. I've always said it's the marginalization that we are suffering in this country. Is the marginalization of the politicians to the masses. The masses are suffering across the board. But the politicians, they, that's why they shift from parlor to the room to the kitchen. PDP to APC, APC back, back to back. And you guys are not thinking about, about that. Now they are telling uh, Ushibaju that he has betrayed uh, Tinumbu. What do you have to say to that? So I don't understand. This this hatred is everywhere. If It's all just uh, everywhere. So when these people come out and begin to yarn or pataya, I don't even understand them. 
those who have been in power now, back at they say the Igbos cannot be in power because they can't spend it because they, they have been cursed. So the ones that have been heading this country, that have been at the leadership or the hem of our face of this country, those other tribes, what good have they brought to this country? If maybe if an Igbo man had ruled now, they would say, oh, it is the Igbo man that has destroyed this country. But this country has been destroyed beyond repairs. Yet, who are the people that mostly the hem of at the hem of affair so to me we shouldn't even be bothered the ego should not be bothered <laughs> what are they saying they are saying nothing this is betrayal in every time okay there's betrayal in every time uh egos are actually uh, is actually problem of themselves <laughs> i attended the grace imt in the 80s i am not an ego man but was made class governor anything we want to do i represent my department but when it comes to student parties i dare not come out to represent them was the anambra indigenous will never allow Igbo states to represent them or other Igbo states well so they made you class governor you know do you you want to be senator too okay criminal on puppets please let the christians be preaching the word of god and with love if there's any tribe where there is no love and unity among them, then the message of love, peace, and unity should be preached to them. Thanks, God bless you. They cannot give what they don't have. We're seeking people. Do they understand the gospel? They cannot wait for God, so they are distracted by their thoughts, and the godly book congregation is waiting to hear something, so anything becomes topic. <laughs> What is wrong in Igbos criticizing themselves? Yorubas do same. Haven't we seen Tinubu and Oshibajo critics among the Yorubas? The same among the Awusa Fulani. After all, Buhari is most criticized by his own people. Ngige should mind his own business. Leave Obi alone. He is more acceptable than you. Tell Anambra what you did for them. But this time, it is no more Anambra but Nigeria as a nation. Please, the heaven is so wide. To so occupy all the birds without each crossing the path of each other. Just this week in the social media, which is awash with the Igbo's mass hatred to his brother, you came up hitting Ubi. Did he ask you to step down for him? Selfishness, jealousy will kill you Igbo politicians who can't even unite and face the enemies. God's time is the best. When the time of Igbo reach before the eye of God, nobody can prevent it. And that's it. Even the ones that, to me, even the ones that have been president, what have they given to us? Nonsense. Is that what you guys are celebrating? <laughs>